where my comfort really lies, where my faith gets its strength, and how I can really face the day without struggle or trouble looking me in the eye and telling me that I can't survive. Daily light always seems to give me that kind of assurance. Because in the Word, we're told that as surely as the sun rises, so too are God's promises for us. As surely as the sun rises, so God is with us. As surely as the sun rises. You know, there's so much about God in creation that I am given reassurance daily by the light of His own countenance shining upon me as I look upon all of creation and I see through the seasons how He always has come through and provided and abided with me. And in that, I take great reassurance. For my day, maybe, maybe it's like your day. My day sometimes is challenging and I have to deal with certain feelings that I have that may not be those kinds of feelings that you jump up and down and get excited about. It might not be the kind of feelings that you go, oh, wow, I just can't wait to tell someone how I'm feeling today. It might just be those kind of feelings that you go, well, yes, this is the day the Lord has made. And I do rejoice, and I am glad in it, but sometimes I just feel like tired and weary. But you know, there's always someone around that's a little happier than you are. So you can always find someone to rejoice and be glad with. Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you will glorify me. Why art thou cast down on my soul? Why are you quit disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart, and thou wilt cause your ear to hear. For thou, O Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all that call upon thee. Jacob said unto his household, Let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the day which I went. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. Because he has inclined his ear unto me, therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The sorrows of death compass me, and the pains of hell got hold of me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I on the name of the Lord. All through scriptures we're told to call upon the name of the Lord, to call upon God, to ask and we would receive, to seek and we would find, to talk to God. And I can't imagine why anyone would do anything without doing it in the first place. Can you? I mean, people tell me, why would I pray before I vote? Why would I ask God for so trivial a thing? Because I ask God for so trivial a thing of whether I should get up in the morning, whether I should run forward in the day, whether I should turn to the left or the right, whether I should be who I am today and how I should be. And you see, that's kind of where I'm at, you know. I don't see men making wise decisions. I see God directing men in wise ways. And I would choose rather to be found today calling upon the name of the Lord and being saved, calling upon God and finding the way that I should go, calling upon the Lord in my need so he can supply me according to his riches and glory that I might not be found faithless and stupid and outside of the will of God by not having asked God to lead me in the way he wants me to go. And that's why I like the light. Because you know, the light, when you shine it forward, points out 
what's in the way. And that's what God does for me. Because He's my light and my salvation. He's my strength, my strong tower. He's the one I call upon and have always called upon in time of need, as well as in time of prosperity, in time of faith, in time of sorrow, even times of tiredness. You see, because He is the light, He is my light, I enjoy His countenance. I enjoy having Him reveal to me the way I should go. And maybe that's what you should do. Maybe you should seek the Lord while He may be found. Maybe you should talk to Him and consider your ways, whether they be in the light or in the dark. After all, all you need to do is call and He will answer. Maybe you should do that now. Maybe you should take some time, just a moment now in your day, to call upon the Lord and see what He might have to say. He is listening, and you already know He's watching. <laughs>